hey guys welcome to my channel I was just thinking today when I was sitting in the car that there are a lot of YouTube channels that talk <laughs> so I came on today because there are just things that just are on my mind and so today on my mind was when you may take for granted in a season of not showing gratitude that you will get a warning and that taking for granted is expecting a warning when you know you're not operating in your high itself and I was just like man you know some of the people I've interacted with may not have always been their highest self and I might have um, come into contact with them but I was feeling like they might expect to get a warning and that you know get time to fix it and <laughs> once you do that a couple of times you realize like I should probably stop doing this because it's not really working out and just expecting that you're going to get a warning when you know you're not living right when you know you're not um, communicating with the other person that this is what's going on I know myself I don't have you don't have to tell me and so when you can uh, approach somebody and trying to tell them that what they're um, you know what the, what's what's going on with them affects you they want to receive it because everybody has a perspective everybody has a different view of reality and they may not be welcoming to that and they may jump at you because either they might be in a victim part of their life or they may feel like this is not okay for you to be telling me about myself you know but that is a lot of what is going on is people telling other people about themselves today I was thinking about that when you're with someone or you're having a relationship with someone and it could be friendship or it could be any type of relationship because of business personal interpersonal and when you're just facing that block of I know this person better than they know themselves they're not watching them so they haven't taken the time to watch themselves and so when I'm coming out and saying hey I'm gonna tell you the truth because I care and oftentimes our relationships with people is God giving you the truth because truth is a spirit like I someone was saying really good yesterday truth is a spirit everything is spiritual and it can come to you through anybody just like she said and when it comes to you, you have to hear it first before you defend yourself because this isn't necessarily <laughs> judgment day every time you're hearing the truth it's you know <laughs> It's not just me every time you hear the truth. So you have to really take it with a grain of understanding. I don't like grain of salt, but a grain of understanding. And say, hey, have I exhibited this? Have I, you know, has this happened? Is this, this person and how they feel around me is important. It's not just important how I feel around myself. If, you know, I'm around other people, it's important how they feel around me. And if there's a theme, if they're saying the same thing, or if, you know, I really need to go back to the lab. And I think sometimes it's hard for people to take themselves back to the lab and say, hey, I'm not where I want to be. Um, I'm not finding success in relationships, or I'm not finding success in my goals. I'm not finding success in my aspirations. And you have to take yourself back to the lab. You have to figure out how can I stop waiting for people to warn me because you're not always going to get a warning you can get fired you know you, you don't you don't always get a warning so you have to be able to take yourself back to the lab and say what do i need to work on what do i need to do right now before i'm waiting for something external to impact my life you know because if you're waiting for ex something external to come and change you before you change, you will not change. And so you have to take yourself back to the lab. And I'm being repetitive because that's how habits are formed. I really like 
hearing people talk about us as people, us as spirits, and not about all the time making money or um, to just anything 3D, anything material, because we're just having this short experience and some people's experiences are shorter they get cut short not everyone is here for 100 i was very interested in the past life regression i was very interested in talking to my higher self i just had a spiritual awakening this summer and i didn't have a choice like one thing i always say is god isn't playing around and you can tell when people talk about god and god saying tell them to repent like you want a second chance like people's encounters with God is very serious like it's not for play play and it's usually a correction like you can go and talk to God when things are going well in your life um, but like I said don't wait for a warning because that is taking for granted that you're going to get a warning to go and fix something and then change you know like why not change here and then you don't get a warning and you elevate but when you wait to get a warning, that elevation isn't guaranteed because some people will be more graceful than others. Some institutions will be more graceful than others. But this is yourself you're talking about. You should be graceful with yourself. You should not wait for other people to be graceful with you and to warn you and tell you about yourself. You should know what people say about you before they tell you, honestly. When someone tells you something about yourself, you should really be replying, duh. Like, that's the type of energy you should have when people are warning you. Because if you don't know yourself, if you don't know the spiritual side of yourself, if you're focused on making money, if you're focused on, you know, hygiene and clothes and, you know, glasses, just different things like your face routine. Like, if you're focused on candles, like, if you're just focused on anything that you can touch out here, you're missing the mark, you know? Like, those things are important, but we spend, a lot of people spend a lot of their time even on YouTube or just on social media, doing it, you know? Like, it's a it's very high percentage time spent on it. And you're not going to be able to keep any of this. So, yes, you can do it. I'm not, you know, attacking anybody that makes any t different types of videos because I've grown and learned from the videos. But there's no roundness. There's no well-roundedness about it. And I, when you focus on one thing other areas will lack and so if you're focused on or i need to go and be the best in this area what about all the other areas because we're spirits first of all and if you knew how powerful you were and where you were before this you would you would you would maneuver life in a different way you would walk different you would carry yourself different you would stop doing a lot of things you do you would really start to think what happened before i was born i don't wait on other people to present me with help before I go and search for it myself. I don't wait for an answer or wait for something out here to happen, you know, money or success or whatever, to before I go figure out how to do it myself. You know, before I say, hey, something needs to change. You shouldn't say, I'm going to wait for someone to um, pay for my college before I try and go like I can't afford it I can't like you know those limited belief systems like you shouldn't wait for the day to be here you should act like the day is here and the day really is here because like I said everybody doesn't get a hundred and so us as spirits we should really take into consideration where we go at night where we are during the day how mindful we are with the people in our lives are we grateful for anything are great gratitude list growing <laughs> you know are you bringing more things into your life today that you will thank yourself for tomorrow that was a really great thing someone said and i said you really should are you drinking that smoothie jada yep you know like are you drinking out your water no i stopped drinking tap water i was a very strong proponent of tap water and then i went and searched um all the things that are in it and they would say it was safe levels and i would say I challenge it, so I started challenging whatever was, you know, the status quo. So that is my bill on waiting for the 3D or waiting for an outside factor to come into your life and make a change. You should really consider making a change before. So don't come and say, hey, 
this other person is doing this, this other person is doing that. I can't change <laughs> because they won't let me, you know, I can't change because, you know, someone's stopping me. Like, what about these other people? Like, they're doing all these things. Like, it doesn't matter what they're doing. It makes no difference what they're doing. Don't go and ask somebody after you figure out what you, what you need to change. Well, what are you going to do? It makes no difference what they're going to do. Somebody <laughs> else's journey. Your journey is your journey. Your journey is not their journey. Like, you like to talk about soul contracts and all these different things. We all want on something different. <laughs> we might rhyme and they might seem similar. You know, they might be going towards a certain destination, but we're not all here to do the same things. And so you asking other people to change and to be better is good in intention, but you should not make a practice of it. You should really focus on yourself because when everybody focuses on themselves, then that's where we're going to see the real change because there's just chaos right now. It's all this finger pointing and wanting us to highlight this person and talk about what's going on with them and what they're doing, what they're doing wrong, right? Based off of our belief system, there is no right or wrong. Law of relativity and law of polarity says there are two sides to everything and that this room I'm in could be big or small if you just compare it to something else. So have a good day. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace love and i've been thinking about what my name is going to be and i'm still deciding but i'm really leaning towards infinite creation because in all my past um, experiences as light or in physical 3d i've always created or i've always been a creation and so i really challenge you guys to name yourself because honestly my name is not jada <laughs> have a good day